Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through three ways to track phone calls inside of Google ads. I'm going to show you how to track call extensions, Google call ads and calls from a website. So if one of those three things you want to track, then stay tuned. Uh, we're going to start off with Google call extensions just because they're the easiest and we'll go to call ads and then calls from a website. But this is super important inside Google ads to track calls. And especially if you're a service based business, most of the time, that's what they want. They want phone calls, they want the ability to just pick up the phone, answer it and you know, talk to a client and make a sale. They don't really want to go through email extensions. So super important to track. And if you don't have any type of uh, call tracking whatsoever, this is something that you need. So without further ado, let's get into it and start off with call extensions. So what we're going to do inside of our site here and Google call account uh, is we're going to come over here to tools and settings and it's a little wrench icon. We're going to come over here to conversions. And I think some of this was already set up, but I'm going to make new conversion settings. Anyways, uh, what we're going to do is hit create new conversion action. And we're going to come over here to phone calls. And as you can see, we have three different types of phone calls that we can track. I normally don't use clicks on your number on a mobile website. That's just a giant pain and waste of time for the most part. So please don't use that. Uh, what we're going to be doing is for the call extensions and call only ads, we're going to be setting up two different conversion actions. So we're going to click on this. And since this is the call extension, we're going to name it call extension. Let's do for video so we remember it for video. Uh, we're going to come down here to value. We're going to hit don't use a value for this. If you do know how much a phone call is worth to you and you want to assign a value to it, you absolutely can. You just hit that and you're good to go. Uh, most people don't know exactly what a phone call is worth, so they don't actually uh, have a value for it. So we normally just use don't use a value. Uh, counting, this is very important as we only want to count the person once if they call back again and again, we don't want to count them as separate conversions and like different conversion actions in the account, they we generated one client, and that's all we're going to count. So in most cases, we're only going to hit one, we only want to count this person once even even if they call back again and again, uh, if you were doing sales on like an e commerce store, then sure, you could hit every uh, but that is not normally recommended for a service based business. The next thing is call length. I would recommend at the beginning, just set this to one second. So it tracks every single phone call, at least at the beginning, and then you can uh, increase it later on. That's just nice because you want to get as much data into the account as possible. And you really don't want to restrict yourself from any available data. So we're going to set that to one second for all three of these conversion actions. Click through window, essentially after 30 days, if this person calls back and they click on a new ad and they call you again, do you want them to count as a new conversion? You can set this to whatever you want. You can do 30 days, 45 days, 60 days, custom. We normally leave it as 30 days. I think that's fine. If you want to increase it, uh, that's completely up to you. Attribution, uh, you could use last click or data driven. I like data driven. Uh, it generally allows Google a little bit more leniency to figure out how much credit to give to every single time someone calls. So if they see your ad, they call you and then they again call you uh, a second time after they see a second type of ad, they're going to give a different credit to each and every interaction they had with your actual ads. I know it sounds a lot complicated, but Google's AI can figure this out very quickly. Uh, so normally we go with data driven last click only assigns a value to the very last click that actually came. So say the person clicked on it, your ad three separate times on three different ads, and they called you from three different numbers, it would give all the credit to the very last one. But for most people data driven is fine. Uh, moving on, we will hit create and continue. And now what we have to do is actually assign this conversion action as it says, we've created a conversion action, we have to assign it to our Google call extension. This is very simple to do. All we have to do is come over here to Google ads. Again, we're going to come down to assets. And then we're going to click on call if we haven't already clicked on it. And you can also see this in all if you wanted to, but I'm just going to hit that. And then we're going to hit the little pencil icon here. We're going to hit edit. And we're going to assign this to call extension for video. So that's all you got to do as it says, uh, conversion action here, again, call extension for video, good to go. Advanced options, if you wanted to set a schedule for this uh, call extension, you absolutely could, I wouldn't recommend that it's just over complicates the account for most of the time. Um, next thing we have to do is hit save. And we have successfully created our call extension for our Google Ads account, and we're tracking it now. So all the tracking for the call extension is good, you don't got to touch it no more. The next thing we're going to do is actually set up our call only ads tracking, which is 
essentially the same process. So we're going to come over here again to conversions. We're going to hit new conversion action. We're going to hit phone calls as we did before calls from ads using call extensions or call only ads. I prefer creating them separately. You could use the same conversion action. I don't like that. I like to see where the actual conversions are coming from. We're going to hit continue. We're going to name this uh, call only ads for video. There we go. Uh, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're not going to use a value. We're going to only hit one. We're going to turn this down to one second. And we're going to leave that all the same. We're going to hit create and continue. And now we have successfully created that conversion action and we have to assign it to our call only ads. If you have a lot of call only ads, this is why I recommend doing this at the beginning of an account. Uh, you have to go in here and manually adjust these, which really, really is not fun, uh, but it has to be done. So if you haven't done this, uh, it does take a little bit call only ads for video and you hit that hit save and then I think it was this one do we do that one there we go and we do the exact same one for this one for uh, call only ads for video and then we would have to go through our entire ad group and all the ads we have and switch them individually which you know does take us time but at least it's being tracked and once that is all done uh, you are good to go we have set up the call extension so all of our calls from the call extension are now being tracked our call only ads are being tracked and now there is one thing left to do, and that is to set up call tracking for our website. And this is actually pretty simple to do, especially if you use a landing page software like I'm gonna show you uh, right now. All right, so now to get on to the actual conversion tracking with the website, how do we do that? And it's pretty simple. What we're gonna do is install two different snippets of code. I know that sounds complicated, but if you're using a landing page software, super simple to do. All we're gonna do is come over here to tools and settings and I'm using a different account and the reason for this is I wanted to show you it actually worked. Um, I know a lot of people will say like, oh, you can do this. And then like, they're like, ah, I didn't actually test any of this. So <laughs> like, this is like legitimate proof that it actually worked. Uh, so this stuff does work. Uh, we're going to scroll through. And as you can see, this worked. Uh, we have a conversion and it was within, I think it was like last week we had a conversion. But I'm gonna set this up again, and how do we actually set this up? All we have to do is hit new conversion action. We're gonna come over here to phone calls. We're gonna hit calls to a phone number on your website. Now, this is a lot easier um, if it's just a normal phone number. So like a normal 905-555-5555, not a 1-800 number. 1-800 number, there's a little trick you gotta do, but they're both pretty similar. So we're gonna do phone calls, website, video we'll do that we're not going to assign a value we're going to hit one we're going to this is going to be a canadian phone number please if you're using a phone number from a certain local country you have to enter it in properly or google will not run it this is going to be our number here and then our display number so essentially these are going to be the exact same thing and uh, what you want them to do is essentially swap out the numbers here. If we had a normal like number, you can just leave it like that. But since we have a 1-800 number, um, we're just gonna add it like that since it's a 1-800 number. Call length, we're gonna go down to one second. We wanna track everything. Um, 30 days, good to go. And display number, if the number for whatever reason was different and you wanted to swap out it with a different forwarding number, you could. Um, kind of complicated stuff but but if you're just using one phone number this is completely fine just enter in the phone number you're using here and here and you're good to go hit create and continue and now we're going to be prompted with adding in a tag and this is actually really easy to do if the google tag isn't installed on your landing page yet all you have to do is copy this we're going to come over to our landing page we're going to come over here and hit publish and then we're going to actually see our little doctor page which is apparently the one I picked because <laughs> that was the quickest one. I understand the risks, I know. Bitdefender doesn't like when you use a uh, landing page without HTTP. Oh, it does have HTTPS. <laughs> All right, so now you can see this is our landing page. We're gonna come back, we're gonna hit, uh, da -da -da -da. where is it? Dashboard. Actually, JavaScript code there. So we're going to come over here, hit JavaScript code. And this is essentially the same for every single landing page software out there. You have a place you can enter in JavaScript code. We're going to hit add new script. We're going to name it global site tag. As this is the very first one on our website or on the actual tag uh, setup, you see we have the phone snippet and then we have the Google tag. You can just name it global site tag. We're going to hit paste and we're going to change this to 
head, and then we're going to do both for this one. And that's really all you have to do. You have to hit add script. And now you have successfully added 50% of the tag. So next part what we're gonna do is actually add another script. Uh, and this is gonna be the second part of the phone call snippet. We're just gonna scroll down here. We're gonna copy this. As you can see, phone call snippet. We're gonna type this. We'll do phone call for video. Um, and then we're gonna hit head. And then we're gonna hit both. And then we're gonna paste this. And as you can see, this is our number in here. We're just gonna hit add script. And then we're gonna hit landing page preview, which is all nice. And what we have to do after this is hit hashtag Google dash WCC debug. So, and this is a tool that essentially Google came up with and you might have to use an incognito tab. So I'm gonna copy this because essentially it's called a cookie and it saves data. We're gonna do there, and now we see this, which is what we were looking for. Uh, Google AdWords website call conversion, and essentially what it's doing is trying to replace this number. Now, all we have to do is hit force, and as you can see, it has successfully replaced this number. If you have a normal number, you shouldn't have to worry about this plus issue here, but if you have a 1-800 number, what you have to do is you have to come back to our dashboard, and we have to edit this. We actually have to remove this plus icon if we have a 1-800 number. If we do not, you're essentially good to go. And then once we get rid of our plus there, we just hit publish and then we are good to go. But if you had a normal like 905, 999, 9999 number, not a 1-800 number, you're completely fine. You don't gotta do this. Uh, it's only for 1-800 numbers. But now you've successfully set up your call conversion tracking and it's actually going to take all of this data that you get from your landing page and send it into Google Ads. So you can see successfully set up. And just to prove again that I actually did this and it works, you can see here, and it says one call, it says website, it says conversion, it says active. And as we come over here, it actually counted as a conversion inside of our campaign. I ran this like a few days ago just to make sure uh, everything did work well and you guys could see that it was working and I wasn't making all this stuff up. So that's how to set up conversion tracking for extensions, call only ads, and for website tracking as well. Uh, if you actually really wanna see this work in action, you will have to actually click on one of your own ads, but that debug tool with Google-WCC-debug, and make sure to put a hashtag at the front of it, um, that is a great way just to test all of your landing pages. So that's it for this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave a comment down below. Be sure to check out our optimization checklist. The link for that is down below. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care. I wish you all well.